Okay, That's what it. they say? I'm not too many. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world. What's good, fam? Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, man. I appreciate everybody coming in, man. Um, I want to talk about Jam Jam Jamal Charlo and Sergey Derenchenko. But before I do, man, I just want to talk a little bit about, uh, see if you guys heard about Nick Cannon being dropped by Viacom. And, um, you know, his show Wildin' Out, boo, which has been on the air I think he got he got a lot of seasons, man. I know he got over ten seasons um, of wilding out, man. And uh, they dropped him um, because of some things that he said on his uh, podcast. He got a podcast, and he had Professor Griff on there yesterday, I believe. And you know the 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 topic was about race, you know, which is. Uh, heavily talked about topic right now, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, and um, you know, they decided to to drop Nick Cannon because of some of his views. They wanted him to apologize, you know. Um, if anybody knows Nick Cannon, anybody watches Nick Cannon, um, you know, Nick Cannon is not a racist. Um, you know, a lot of people seem to get the 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 thing of being pro-black as being racist you know just because i love my people you know just because i'm i'm for the betterment of my people doesn't mean that i'm for the detriment of other races or that i hate other races and this is basically what nick cannon was saying you know what i mean uh viacom they own uh, Comedy Central, MTV, and uh, even BET, you know. Um, there are a lot of things that people say on different platforms that, you know, um, everybody's not gonna agree, agree with, you know. But um, I feel Nick Cannon didn't say anything offensive he didn't say anything racist. If anything, he let it be known that he is not a racist and that, you know, he supports uh, all people, but mainly he supports black people, which is his people. And um, Viacom to just to go off the, the handle that quickly is, is amazing. Like this all happened within 24 hours, you know, um, Wild and Out used to come on on Tuesday nights. Last night, you know, me and my wife, you know, she liked to watch Wild and Out. And uh, she was wondering why the DVR didn't record it. You know, it said it was Wild and Out, but it was something else that was on there. And now I, I wake up today and I hear this news and I can see why. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's just crazy that the, the world we live in, man, you got to walk around on eggshells about what you're saying, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, I agree with Nick Cannon, man. Nick Cannon has definitely built his own platform. He got a, a, a humongous fan base, and I don't think he need Viacom. He can have Wild and Out. Anybody would be happy to pick that show Wild and Out up because it is a really good show. A lot of people watch it. The ratings are very good on it. And um, I'm sure Nick Cannon will land on his feet. Now, um, for those of you who are here strictly for boxing, I do apologize that you had to, uh, you know, go through two minutes of that there, three minutes of that, four minutes, whatever it was, man. But I just, you know, um, that was on my, that was on my uh, mind, man. I want to talk about it. Now, we we may finally get to see what Jamal Charlo is all about. You know, we all watch Jamal Charlo, um, we watch his antics, we watch his aggressive behavior, his aggressive nature um, in and outside of the ring. Uh, but the, 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 big, the big knock on Charlo is that he has not been tested. Well, we know one thing for sure, two things for certain, three things for real. Sergey Derenchenko is going to test 
Jamal Charlo, man. Um, Sergey Derevchenko gave showed a valiant effort against uh, Danny Jacobs, and I think that he actually won the Triple G fight. Um, I think he beat the brakes off of Triple G. The the way he went to Triple G's body was just was just very very um, violent. You know what I mean? Uh, never before have we seen Triple G um, in so much pain and so much agony on the verge of going down or on the verge of, you know, possibly being stopped, man. There was a point in the fight where um, Sergey hit Triple G with a body shot, man. And Triple G's reaction was so, was so out of character that the referee, Harvey Doc, he jumped in there. And everybody's wondering, like, what the hell did he jump in there for? There was no foul. There was nothing, nothing for him to jump in there for. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of you watch the fight. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, he just stopped the action for some reason because we're not used to seeing Triple G in that position. Um, but Sergey Davrachenko is definitely going to bring the fight to Jamal Charlo, man. And um, we'll see if he is what we think think he is you know um i think charlo will show up you know um but i think it's a really really good fight man charlo cannot go in there sleeping on sergey you know sergey's gonna come to fight um <laughs> one thing i just you know not not to sound like a hater not to sound like you know uh i'm not a sergey you know i don't like to watch sergey in the ring man but it's just funny to me how He's getting all these title shots, man. You know what I mean? This will be his third title shot within a year, a year and a half. You know what I mean? He keep losing. Um, he lost his shot to Danny Jacobs. He lost his shot to Triple G. Now he gets another shot against um, Jamal Charlo. You know, um, I just don't understand it. Like, you know, you see other guys lose, man, and sometimes it's years before they get another another title shot this guy has had this will be his third title shot within a year a year and a half you know what i'm saying somewhere around that somewhere around that time frame man and i'm um, not saying that you know he's not an exciting fighter that you know what i mean but it's just i'm just bewildered by that man you know what i mean you got a lot of these guys some of these guys who are um deserve i feel deserve title shots man and they haven't even received one yet and here you got a guy who had two of them already and lost both of them and now he's getting he's getting rewarded with another third um title shot man um i don't understand some of these sanctioning bodies ranking systems and um but you know all in all i'm happy i'm happy that this fight it ain't 100 percent yet but i'll be happy if this fight get made because, you know, I think it's a very competitive fight. Um, I do think it's a 50-50 fight. Um, and I would love to see these guys in the ring mix it up, uh, you know, just to see where they're at, man. And, you know, um, one thing about Derevchenko, he's, he's athletic, he's explosive, he's violent, you know what I mean? So Charlo's going to be in there with another fighter who is... Um, you know, who wants to bring the pain just as much as he does, you know, and um, I was listening to an interview with uh, Andre Rozier. He did an inter interview with, with Fight Hype and, you know, he was talking about how, you know, basically he was talking about future plans, man. Like, it's already a foregone conclusion that they beat Jamal Charlo. You know, so I think that is added motivation for Charlo, man, to, to have these guys overlooking me and I'm the champion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of people who's, who's, who's overwhelmingly rooting for Sergey Davrinchenko. But I think that's more of Charlo hate than the fact that they think um, Davrinchenko's skills are, are that much superior to Jamal Charlo. But um, hey, man, I'm I'm looking forward to this fight, man. I am really looking forward to this fight. Um, hopefully, they announce it soon. Um, we should. It may be announced by the time I upload this video. But hey, I can't wait. I can't wait, man. But that's all I got, man. Um, if you guys are on social media, if you're on Twitter 
on Instagram. Check me out at Big Faces Worldwide, all one word. But in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe, fam. And keep on supporting this sport that we love called boxing. Peace. I'll holler back. Yeah.